Let us get an overview of predefined functions in Spark SQL. As part of this topic, we will see how to get list of functions to understand what are functions that are available out of the box using Spark SQL. And also we will see how to get uses of a given function by using describe function. So show functions is the command which can be leveraged to list all the functions. And describe function can be used to get help on a given function. In this case, we are trying to get help on substring. Now when it comes to the categories of functions, uh, these are the categories that are commonly used, string manipulation, date manipulation, numeric functions, type conversion functions, and also we use case and when operator quite a lot. We have separate topics for each of them, and we'll go into the details after this. This is the simple command which will list all the functions. However, due to the limitation with the Jupyter Notebook, you will be seeing only 10 here. If you want to get all of them, there is a alternate way of using simple Scala based code or Python based code. If it is a Scala based code, you can actually say spark.sql show functions. And then you can say dot show 300 comma false. Otherwise it will only display 20 and you can get a list of all the functions here. If you want to use Python based approach, this is Scala based approach. For Python based approach, you just have to say 300 comma truncate equal to false then it will work for Python also. For now, this can only interpret either SQL or Scala and hence I'm passing the Scala code here. Let me clear the output. You can also use this piece of code to list functions using Scala. I'm not 100% sure whether this is supported with uh, Python or PySpark. This will take care of displaying the functions and also associated classes. However, you should be focusing on only on this, which are nothing but the function names which we'll be using as part of the Spark SQL. You don't need to worry too much about the corresponding class for each of these functions. Let me clear output for this as well. Now if you want to look at help for a given function, you can use describe function like this. It will display the help. However, due to the limitation with the Jupyter Notebook, it is truncating the output. To disable truncation, you can actually use the Scala based approach by saying spark.sql then pass describe function substring as a string to it and then you can execute with show with false to see the complete help of a given function. So this is how you should be able to get the usage or help on a given function. So make sure you are comfortable with getting the list of the functions for quick reference and also getting the usage of the functions by using show functions and describe function on a given function.